From the Quarries, an archive of Masonic lore. Welcome to this edition of From the Quarries. Something a bit different today, I have in my hand a small pamphlet called The Young Mason's Catechism by Saunders Denovan, which was published in Dundee in 1929. Some of these words may seem vaguely familiar, so here we go. The Young Mason's Catechism Brother Mason, as you have now been duly initiated into the secrets and mysteries of the first or entered apprentice degree, you are entitled to be passed to the second or fellow craft degree at any time after fourteen clear days, but it is necessary before you be further advanced in Freemasonry, you should be more fully instructed as an entered apprentice. To whom shall I apply for such instruction? To any true and trusted brother who is well skilled in the use and meaning of the working tools of instruction. As I am unfamiliar with any who are so qualified, will you help me to a selection? I will write gladly, but I must first premise for your earnest and careful consideration that every youthful brother who seeks instruction is bound at every meeting with his instructor to present to him the working tools of an uninstructed entered apprentice. What are these working tools? A bottle of beer and a bap. Why are they so called? Because ever since the feast at the dedication of King Solomon's temple, it has been the, the custom to instruct an entered apprentice in the use and meaning of harmony, and without these tools, that fabric of social life could not be duly and truly erected. What is harmony? A system of good fellowship, promulgated by Freemasons, and illustrated by certain friendly signs and tokens. What are signs? There are many, but the circle made by a corkscrew and the raising of a glass to the mouth are the most familiar among harmonious Freemasons. What are tokens? Standard measures, commonly known as halves, gills and pints, are all tokens by which to know a brother of the craft. May I compound for these tools of instruction? You may not, but since the day when a brilliant young fellow craft, anxious to prove his skill as a marksman, hit Hiram a biff with his bap as he was accidentally passing the mouth of a tavern, it has been the usual practice to omit the bread, but the bottle of beer you must not omit under any pretense whatever. How often must I meet for instruction? As often as your instructor may require, or on any odd number of nights, more than one, namely three, five, seven, or fourteen. But fourteen is not an odd number. It is so called in masonry, when baps and beer are under consideration, being, as you will instantly perceive, seven once repeated. How shall I know when I am fully instructed to pass to the second degree? As soon as the working tools produce an impediment in the speech of your instructor, who, anxious to tell you that he has had plenty, will say, Sh, 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 shibboleth. In view of the necessity for secrecy at all times which has been emphasized in the course of the ceremony, I presume that my instructor and I shall be alone when this instruction is given. Not necessarily. You may invite me. It only means a third bottle of beer. Are you willing to accept the invitation? I am, since three is one of the perfect numbers in masonry, and also since the first three Grand Masters used frequently to meet to discuss a bottle of beer and a bap when the sun was at meridian.' 